Jeff Darlington, what can you tell us about the Eagles' plans with Jalen Hurts' contract? Well, you heard it from Howie Roseman right there, keeping in mind, of course, that Jalen Hurts is on a four-year deal. So this is not like uh, a lot of the other high-profile rookies that are on those five-year deals can start negotiating after the third year, but you don't have the urgency until after the fourth. So it makes sense that they would want to do this deal. You know, the one thing we have to kind of consider here is that the Eagles were the ones who did the deal that has sort of caused a little bit of precedent and a cautionary tale with Carson Wentz mm. several years ago. Wentz was given the highest guaranteed contract at that point in NFL history when he signed his deal. Obviously, it was after the third year and a lot of people since then have said they didn't wait long enough. They don't quite have that luxury when it comes to Jalen Hurts, but I do wonder if Howie Roseman has that at all in the back of his head as he proceeds with this contract. Yes, we've seen a quarterback who is very clearly ascending. Yes, we all understand that Jalen Hurts is very talented, but I will say that back then we were saying very similar things about Carson Wentz. What do you think, Mike T? How would you approach this if you were Howie Roseman? I would have signed him three weeks ago. He was extension <laughs> eligible the Monday after the regular season, and it's only gone up since then. And we know that with all these other deals coming along, Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, the Lamar Jackson situation, it's only going to go up. He's high character. He's gotten better. He's young. And he's playing phenomenal quarterback. So to me, he checks every single box in terms of what you'd want in a franchise quarterback. So if I'm the Eagles, I am going ASAP, Graz. And here's the other dynamic that we got to mention. If I'm Howie Roseman, worst case scenario is you hear from Jalen Hurst's agent at some point that I'm not going to training camp without a new deal. He would have massive amount of leverage given the year he just had. And as Jeff alluded to, he's 17 games from the finish line. Now, obviously, they could franchise him, but I think Jalen Hurts has a ton of leverage given how well he played down the stretch. Mike makes some great points. And uh, I would say this. Um, it's a 10-year contract. It's a Patrick Mahomes deal where you could stretch it out. You could still get into free agency. You could sign the players you need to sign. Remember, they have two picks in the first round. I think the 10th and the, and the 32nd pick. Uh, this guy is your quarterback. Uh, there is no doubt about it. How he plays on the field, but also how he conducts himself off the field. I mean, this guy right now, as far as arrows going in the right way, they are headed in the right direction. You know, everyone's concerned about him is his passing ability. Well, he shut everybody up this year. They got him a couple receivers. They've got a good run game, got a great defense. This guy is your long-term term quarterback for a long time. I say that not only as a coach, but as a former Philadelphia Eagle. Oh. The owners do one thing well. They can spend money. Spend your money on the quarterback. Get him signed. I, I might be opening up a can of worms here, but I, I actually kind of, I, I wonder, Mike T, for instance, would you sign, what, what happens when he comes to you and says, cool, that's awesome that you called me. I would love to talk about my contract. It's going to be fully guaranteed. I, I understand the idea that um, we like the idea of signing him, but how easy is that? A year ago, we were talking about this with Lamar Jackson. Oh yeah, pay him, give him whatever he wants. Well, Lamar Jackson wants a fully guaranteed contract that sets a new precedent, precedent in American football. Oh, okay. Well, maybe not yet. So what happens if, if Jalen Hurts comes to you and says, I need a full, fully guaranteed contract and I need a record-setting contract? Are you still doing it then? Because it's easy to say you're going to pay him. It's a different question when he tells you how much. Jeff, you make a great point. That's why we're on the precipice of a truly transformational off season because right now it's the Sean Watson and the Browns as an outlier. And if I'm the Eagles or the Bengals or the Chargers, I keep saying that's the crazy Browns. Look at Aaron Rodgers, Kyle Murray, Russell Wilson, just one by one. They all look the same. Robust guarantee, but not fully guarantee. And Jalen, we want to take care of you. You've earned it, as Herm just said, but we are not going to be bound by one single outlier. Now, if another team comes along and does it, all bets are off. And that's where Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, Lamar, and Jalen Hurts are all intertwined. And this will be a fascinating offseason because one of these quarterbacks may break through the way Deshaun Watson did a year ago. 
We'll see what happens. With those. All those guys are extension eligible for the first time, except Lamar, who has been for the last couple of years. Obviously, they haven't been able uh, to get it done. But a lot of potentially huge market-altering deals for quarterbacks in the offense this offseason. We'll obviously stay on top of all that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.